president of Bristol Community College. It is great to be standing here together in celebration of Bristol Community College's graduating class of 2023. Before we get started with the program, I just want to go over some logistics uh, for our event today. I would like to request that the audience remain in your seats and keep our aisles clear throughout the entire ceremony. For safety and security, only those with college credentials will be permitted to approach the stage. Rest assured, the college has a photographer on stage to capture professional photos of your graduate. First, I would like to recognize this year's Grand Marshal, Joyce Adler Fernandez, Professor of Communication, who will be retiring after 43 years at Bristol Community College. Thank you, Joyce, for your many years of service and dedication to the college. To begin the commencement ceremony, I am pleased to introduce Jenna Cleveland, who will sing the national anthem. Alongside Jenna, the anthem will also be performed in American Sign Language by our very own Deaf Studies students, Abigail Marie De Silva and Scarlett Thomas. Would everyone please rise for the national anthem? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the rabbits we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenna, Abigail, and Scarlett. Everyone, please be seated. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2023, I officially open the 56th Annual Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. Graduates, it is a great honor to welcome the class of 2023. Congratulations on all that you have achieved. 
You are here today with your family and friends to celebrate an accomplishment that will serve you well into the future. You now hold a credential that is respected and recognized throughout the world. Chances are you have been working, this, working toward this day for many years with undeniable determination and a willingness that is unparalleled to anything else that you have achieved in your lifetime. You may have been interested in pursuing a new career, following a lifelong dream, or taking steps toward continuing your education. It is commendable that you have made this choice during an uncertain time, when we all began questioning the world around us. To celebrate what is to come, we must look back at all that we have achieved and endured. We can't overlook that you have spent a great part, if not all, of your time at Bristol Community College navigating a pandemic. Masks, COVID tests, drive-by birthday celebrations, toilet paper shortages, baking sourdough bread from scratch. These past years have been transformational in so many ways, and you, our students, have persevered. I would like for us to take a moment to stop and take in this glorious day. Chances are, over the past few weeks, as you faced finals, you may not have taken a breath. You put everything in to getting to the finish line, and now you are here today, just minutes away from crossing this stage and receiving your diploma. Chances are you did not do this alone. You had support along the way, Many of those who supported you are here today. Bristol Community College's faculty and staff who kept you learning and progressing towards your goals. Your network of family, friends, and loved ones. Let's take a moment to give them a round of applause. believe in you, they gave you support and encouragement, and because of that, each day you woke up and were ready to fight forward. Bristol Community College believes in you. We know your potential because we know what our graduates can achieve and that you will leave here today with a renewed sense of purpose that will fuel your life and career for years to come. We know that our graduates are unstoppable. Your possibilities are endless. Your goals are achievable. Your potential is limitless. Your confidence is boundless. The education that you have received from Bristol Community College gives you the power to be unstoppable. Who here feels like they are unstoppable? Raise your hands. Stop. 
a bull today. Thank you. Thank you, Bristol Community College's theater program. Thank you, David Ledoux, artistic director and our associate director, a professor of theater, to Dan Monty, our music director and keyboardist, and our amazing vocalist, Gregory Silver. And now, congratulations to the unstoppable class of 2023. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to Joan Madero's chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present two of the most prestigious honors that our college awards to community members each year. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. It is my pleasure to present this year's Distinguished Citizen Award. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual or group of individuals who have made a distinguished contribution in the fields of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees hereby names Jason M. Rua as the Distinguished Citizen for 2023. <laughs> Jason, would you please come forward? Jason is the President and CEO of Rua Dumont Audet Insurance with offices in Fall River, New Bedford, and Taunton. He earned a bachelor's degree in management from Bridgewater State University. Rua Dumont Insurance, Rua Dumont Audet Insurance, is a family owned business that has long served our region with beginnings that can be traced back to the 1900s. Jason continues its strong legacy through his commitment to education, health care, and the citizens of our community. He has received many accolades and awards over the years, including the Brayton Community Service Award and the Roger Valcourt Outstanding Citizen of the Year from the Fall River Area Chamber of Commerce, and the Salvation Army Community Service Award, to name a few. He serves on several boards and community organizations, including South Coast Health, People Incorporated, the Bristol County Workforce Investment Board, the Community Foundation of Southeastern Massachusetts, and Mechanics Cooperative Bank. Jason, thank you for your service and dedication to our community. Please accept this gift from us. The Massachusetts Department of Higher Education has granted Bristol Community College the right to award an honorary associate's degree in humane letters. The college awards this degree to an individual who illustrates through a career of intellect and service the best of Bristol Community College's vision to advance a vibrant, diverse community through education, learner by learner. I am pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Pete Souza. A native of South Dartmouth, Pete is a best-selling author, speaker, freelance photographer, and professor emeritus of visual communications at Ohio University. Throughout the Obama administration, Souza served as the chief official White House photographer for President Barack Obama and the director of the White House Photo Office. He also served as the official photographer for President Ronald Reagan. 
Mr. Souza began his career working for new, two newspapers in Kansas and went on to work at the Chicago Sun-Times and National Geographic. He has a lectured at Carnegie Hall, the National Museum of African American History and Culture, and the Smithsonian University of the Smithsonian Museum of American History. In 2021, he was inducted into the International Photography Hall of Fame. For his accomplishments and impact, the Board of Trustees awards the Honorary Associate's Degree of Humane Letters to Pete Souza. He was not able to attend today's ceremony, but let us have a round of applause in his honor. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Christine Hammond, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs, to the podium to recognize some of our outstanding graduates. Good morning. It is my pleasure to recognize some of our exceptional students who have excelled inside and outside the class. The Commonwealth Honors Program at Bristol Community College has earned special recognition from the state and offers qualified students enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. Commonwealth Honors students who have met the graduation requirements of the program are designated today by wearing green and gold cords along with their cap and gown regalia. Students earning the distinction of civic engagement leader have committed their time at Bristol to leading efforts that work to address needs through active involvement in their local community. Today, they are entitled to wear the distinctive red cord, which symbolizes their service. Phi Theta Kappa students are recognized for their outstanding scholarship, fellowship, and service, and today they are recognized with gold stoles. I am also very pleased to recognize the many graduates who received transfer merit scholarships from colleges and universities. This year, nearly $1 million in scholarships have been awarded to Bristol students to transfer to colleges across the country. This is an incredible, yes. This is an incredible example of how our students are in high demand and sought to, set to accomplish great things after Bristol. Congratulations on all of your achievements. Each, <laughs> each year at our commencement exercises, we also recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.80 out of a four-point scale. What are Commonwealth Honor students, civic engagement leaders, Phi Theta Kappa members, transfer scholarship recipients, and students with graduate honors, please stand and be recognized. I would now like to invite Kate O'Hara, Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management to the podium to introduce our valedictory. Good morning, class of 2023. Woo! 
All right, now that we've gotten that out of our systems, I'm gonna ask for everyone's full attention as we've got two extraordinary individuals about to join us up here at the podium. As part of graduation each year, the college invites students with the highest academic accomplishments to be considered for the roles of valedictorian and salutatorian. The selections honor those who, through their excellent academic record and college and community service, represent the highest values of Bristol Community College. This year's salutatorian is Victoria Robidoux, who earned an Associate in Arts in Liberal Arts History Transfer. Victoria discovered her true passion for museum conservation and anthropology while studying at Bristol. She credits the college's supportive faculty and advisors for her success, as well as Bristol's flexible online course schedule, which enabled her to take classes while gaining experience working at the Rhode Island School of Design Museum. In addition to excelling academically, Victoria participated in the college's Commonwealth Honors Program and Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. She also engaged with her college community by founding the Mortals Club, a student organization providing education and space for inclusive conversations about death and dying. Victoria plans to continue her education at a four-year institution to earn her bachelor's degree in anthropology. Victoria, would you please join me at the podium? Please accept this award in honor of your achievements. Congratulations. Congratulations once again. And now Victoria will introduce the valedictorian. Thank you, Vice President O'Hara. It is my honor and privilege to introduce this year's valedictorian, Stan Janulewski. Stan graduates today with an Associates in Arts in Liberal Arts Humanities. Like many students, Stan has had many unique experiences prior to enrolling at the college. Now living in New Bedford, Stan is a husband and father of two girls. He has held roles as a chef at a James Beard Foundation nominated restaurant and as a musician with a touring rock band before pursuing an education and career that would enable him to spend more time with his family. While studying at Bristol, Stan maintained a 4.0 GPA, served as a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and was the recipient of the Stanley Koppelman Scholarship in addition to balancing family responsibilities and formerly working full-time as a butcher. He credits the college's faculty and advisors for their encouragement and engagement throughout his journey at Bristol. Stan is currently using the knowledge he gained at Bristol in his new role as a field researcher for the University of Michigan's Institute for Social Research. He plans to continue his education at a four-year institute with a focus on history and sociology. Please welcome our 2023 valedictorian, Stan Janulewski. Thank you, Victoria, for that kind introduction. Thank you, Board of Trustees, President Douglas, faculty, staff, students and guests for the honor of serving as Bristol Community College's 2023 valedictorian. Well, we made it. Come on. And today is the culmination of at least two years of stress sleep deprivation, studying until the words blur together. This is a rare moment of release. And the good news is, we've completed this leg of our journey. But the bad news is, 
Whether we are going into the workforce, continuing our education or both, this is merely a deep breath before we make another plunge below the surface. And the worst news is that this time, we all know what it takes. We know too much to hold any glass full naivety about what the coming miles will bear. But I'm here to sell you on an idea. What made this day worth it isn't the piece of paper you're about to receive or that you've met or exceeded some academic notion of competency. It isn't this funny hat or the glossy gown, the next few hours of speeches, rituals, tradition, recognition. That stuff is simply a blue ribbon. It's a gold sticker. It's one that we've all fought bare knuckle to get, but it is nothing more than a comma long pause. It is a moment. It's, and the idea here is that that struggle is the common thread that runs from one seat to the next, from the furthest seats to this stage. And look, I'm an unlikely valedictorian. Bristol has been incredibly gracious in highlighting my accomplishments, but that is just the glossy part. The truth of how I got here, how many, if not most of us got here, is not all that fun, lighthearted, or uplifting. I spent years and years working blue collar jobs, the most recent in a slaughterhouse. I did backbreaking, heartbreaking, dangerous work that would make many wretch. I did it because I wanted something more for the two impossibly intelligent, beautiful and talented daughters that I was blessed with. <laughs> Elise and Chloe, you're the blessings I'm still trying to earn. And look, the work I did is noble work. I never felt above it and I still don't. The butchers, the servers, the cooks, the store clerks, our migrant workers, our custodians, our coal miners, our fishermen, our maids, the laborers, the delivery drivers, the steel workers, and nurses are amongst the most important but least appreciated members of society. This speech... This speech is for you, for us. We see you because we are you. And this, this, this is not about me. This is especially, especially for those of us who will never have the privilege to sit in these seats, who will continue to toil in the noble service of others and knock down obstacles that most would never even know existed. Because they, because we, we do it without any expectation of recognition or even basic respect from a society that only pretends to value us when it is socially, politically, or professionally advantageous to say they do. We are looked down upon and called ridiculous things like unskilled, or when the world falls apart and they realize they need us, unskilled is suddenly spun into essential. <laughs> and when we say community college, not everyone is impressed because unless you've been here yourself, you could never know. We're changing that though, whether they like it or not, because for us, community stopped being an abstract concept or a hollow word the minute we found an actual community here at Bristol. And despite enormous efforts by those with colossal power and influence to divide people along every imaginable line, we are too street smart, we are too independent, and we're too scrappy to let them wreck the Bristol community that previous generations built, and we are going to damn well continue to foster and grow. 
because this, this is our shot at upward mobility, and these are our people. We are the change they fear because we are relentless. And in a world that feigns ideals like equality and open-mindedness when it's convenient, we, the students, the faculty, the staff, actually live it. The professors who work at BCC are not here for millions of dollars or prestige. <laughs> They're here for us. Come on. Because they know that we will take their words and shape the world with them. Because they know that Bristol is an island in a world on fire. And everyone at Bristol, our classmates, teachers, advisors, our custodians, our security officers, were the hands that pulled us up the mountain when we didn't have a grain of strength left. And I hope that whatever we do after this, wherever we go from here, we keep the non-judgmental spirit and open-mindedness that shaped our experience here at Bristol in mind. And let's not forget that Abraham Lincoln taught himself law with borrowed books, or as we call them now, open educational resources or that Eric Hoffer, America's greatest philosopher, unloaded railroad freight. Frederick Douglass, America's greatest orator, was born a slave. Mother Jones, elderly, a widow and a woman at a time when no one took any of those three things seriously, stared down the barrel of government guns for our people, for our community, without flinching. Let's not forget that Jose Saramago was a mechanic, Bukowski a postal worker, Melville was a common sailor, Basquiat was a runaway, Sylvia Plath was mentally ill, Charlie Parker was a heroin addict, and James Baldwin was gay and black, publishing incredible novels in pre-civil rights America. And oh yeah, that insane, that crazy man feeding pigeons in the park, talking to himself, that was Nikolai Tesla. There are countless others, too many to name. People on the margins can have and will continue to shape our world because there is nothing more dangerous, more radical, or more American than a marginalized person with a library card. <laughs> and at Bristol, I found support and camaraderie amongst the brothers, sisters, and folks I shared the day-to-day -day trenches with. I found the inspiration and humility to do the work, to know that I was not special, to know I wasn't owed something. And not only was my hardship not unique, but it wasn't particularly interesting. And I learned that through listening to the experiences of others. And the commonality between my blue collar jobs and BCC is that I found that community, that support and friendship amongst the marginalized and shrugged off that I feel blessed to know. That strength, the strength that we didn't know we had until we had no other choice but to have it got us here. The perseverance we learned through struggle got us here. It is the point. The struggle, the storm, is the point. This moment would mean nothing if it was given and not earned, and it would mean nothing if we were not crossing this finish line together as a community. This is not the Ivy League. We are not traditionally privileged. We are dismissed. We are the underdogs that smashed the center, the first over the hill, essential, unskilled, 
whatever they call us, we are the nameless fodder that says, I know I am not owed tomorrow, but I am not done today. Thank you to Dr. Enoch Lamptey and Professor Robin Worthington, who were simultaneously my harshest critics and my most encouraging mentors. To my advisors, Dr. Nancy Benson and Christina Lacroix, who are the definition of going above and beyond. <laughs> to Dr. Mary Rapian, Dr. Martha Ucci, Professor Nan Loggins. To my mother-in-law, who crossed this stage decades ago and inspired our entire family to face challenges headlong. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> to Professor Joyce Fernandez, I could not have done it without you. To the Bristol Foundation, every professor I was lucky enough to know, I wish I could name you all, my classmates, all the Bristol staff, especially the maintenance people who keep our schools clean and safe, to all my best friends, you know who you are, to Amado Baeza, to my wife Rachel and daughters Elise and Chloe, to Crambus, to my father, to my brothers Chris, Danny, and John Assam, to my sister Stephanie, and to my extended families by blood, marriage or circumstance. And finally, to my late mother for her unconditional love and for fighting for her life as long as she possibly could. Thank you, thank you, I feel you here today. Thank you so much for this honor and congratulations to the relentless, to the unstoppable class of 2023. President Douglas, back to you. Get right up here with me, all right? All right. Well, we know that Stanley is certainly unstoppable. I want to thank you so much, Stan, and we are very proud of, of you and all of our graduates who have achieved despite the many hurdles and challenges that they may have faced. I would like you to accept this award in honor of all of your accomplishments. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thank Stanley. You. We're going to take a picture together. Okay. We'll come back and get your water. We're going to just go stand right over here. I am now pleased to introduce Felisa Ojari Kedigi, who, class of 2023, who is also our Vice President of the Bristol Student Senate, and she is going to introduce our last lecturer, Felisa. Thank you, President Douglas. Hello, graduates. <laughs> and good day, our honored guests. Earlier this spring, we asked our graduates and students to reflect upon their Bristol journey. We asked, does a faculty member or specific lecturer come to mind? Is there someone you would like to hear from and learn from one last time? The, the answers to those questions bring me here today. I am honored to introduce the 2023 last lecture to Professor Robin Worthington. <laughs> professor Robin is an associate professor of history and chair of the Department of History, Government and Economics at the Bristol Community College. Professor Worthington has taught US history for the past 12 years. She is the recipient of the 2022 Del P. Parnell Distinguished Faculty Awards. To quote one of our students, Professor Worthington was my professor after being absent from a learning institution since 1989. 
She gave me such a warm, reassuring welcome my very first day that I immediately felt that Bristol was the right decision for me. Her office is always open and a safe place on campus. I can echo this sentiment. When I was building my spring schedule, I ran into some difficulties. Professor Wartensen came to my assistance and admitted me into her women's history course, which was the final class I needed in order to graduate. So, Professor Wartensen, thank you for literally helping me stand right here today. I truly appreciated your approach to teaching, how you provided such personalized feedback and made the content so engaging. As a women's history professor and a Bristol alumni, thank you for, make, for making it possible for women like myself to continue to succeed and reach our goals. A tradition of ours in the student senate is to honor the last lecture by handing them a special challenge coin. These coins are designed as an award and recognition for the contributions to the college. Professor Watson, I am pleased to invite you to accept the challenge coin and give your remarks. Thank you, Felisa. And first of all, I want to say that it's massively unfair that now I have to speak after Stan. <laughs> that was an incredible speech. I just want to say a big thank you to my students, the Student Senate, and the graduating class of 2023 for this amazing honor. Generally, by the end of each semester, I feel that my students have heard just about enough from me. So imagine my surprise when I opened an email and read that at least some of them wanted to hear from me one more time. <laughs> and here we are. It doesn't seem that long ago that I was sitting where you are now, ready to walk across this stage and, reach and receive my Bristol Community College diploma. Back then, probably like most of you, I was thinking about what would come next and feeling a little anxious. Let's face it, Bristol is a pretty safe and nurturing place, and the big world was opening ahead of me. As I was sitting in my chair that day, I was thinking about the people at Bristol that had helped me, all the faculty and staff and administrators that had encouraged and supported me along the way. But there was one thing that hadn't occurred to me. I had left my mark on Bristol as much as Bristol had left its mark on me. And you have made your mark here, too. Often students think of education as moving in one direction, from us to you. But in the ancient teaching of the Talmud, Rabbi Hainina is quoted as saying, much I have learned from my teachers. Even more have I learned from my colleagues. But from my students, I have learned more than from anyone else. I agree. We, the faculty, staff, and administrators here at Bristol, have learned more from all of you than you realize. So today, I'm going to tell you about four lessons that we have learned from you. Try to remember them, no quiz, but try anyway. Lesson one, perseverance. We have learned from you that when you want something, when there is a goal you want to achieve, you won't let anything stop you. You continue to come to class or complete your online coursework after long weeks at work, overnight shifts, staying up all night with a sick child, or caring for a sick parent or sibling. Some of you carried on when you lost your job or your place to live 
and found yourself homeless. You worked hard to achieve the best that you could. We saw you. We saw you in the library, in the cafeteria, or sitting in your car for a few extra minutes of studying for an exam. And you didn't give up at the first mediocre score on a test or a paper. You didn't give up even when others told you you should. We saw you and we were inspired. Lesson two, first impressions. How many times have you heard that you should go with your first impression about someone or something? We have learned from you that is not always the case. There was a student in one of my classes a few years ago. He was kind of a big, muscly guy. I think he spent a lot of time at the gym. He tended to be very quiet and sit in the back of the room. But over the semester, he opened up and shared that he was a veteran and a father. One day before class, he came up to me with excitement, his phone in his hand, and said, I want to show you how I did my daughter's hair for school today. He did a beautiful job. He made a beautiful braid for her. The lesson I learned from that student is that first impressions can sometimes be very inaccurate, and they can seldom tell us what's in someone's heart. That student was like an M&M, all strong and crunchy on the outside, but really sweet on the inside. Lesson three, keep learning. The ancient philosopher Socrates is known to have said, I know only one thing, that I know nothing. Scholars have spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what Socrates meant by that. What that quote means to me is that no person can know everything and that there is always more to learn. We have learned from you that we don't know as much as we think. How? You ask really great questions. And not just where is the cafeteria or my personal favorite, will this be on the test? <laughs> your curiosity about your learning generated more and more questions. Your creative minds made quick connections and calculations. And then you turned those questions on us. And we scurried back to our offices for a quick Google search or into our bookcases or onto the college website, or to our colleagues to find the answers. All for the better. We learned more. You pushed us to do so. And we became more than we thought we could be. Lesson four, differing perspectives. Perspectives can be shaped by personal experiences, cultural differences, and even the time in which people live. Have you ever spoken to your parents or grandparents about what their lives were like when they, when they were growing up? That's something you probably don't have to ask because parents and grandparents love to tell you about that. But we have learned from you that different perspectives can be magic. Magic in the classroom, magic in college clubs, or magic in the smallest of interactions. Every different perspective we encounter is an opportunity to grow in ways we've never considered. That's the magic. Even when we disagree, we learn from one another. In one of my classes this semester, we were just finishing up a discussion of World War II. When one of my students looked up and said, you know, and, and I could tell she was going to say something really profound by the look on her face. You know, she said, war is like a really bad breakup. I have to admit that is not a perspective I had ever thought of before. And my first thought was she must have had some really bad breakups. <laughs> but you know, as I looked around the room, I noticed other students kind of nodding their heads and smiling. Her perspective was fresh and different and gave them a new way to think about a very old problem. One of the best things about Bristol Community College is the range of experiences that students bring with them. Some of you came here just out of high school or even while still in high school. 
or when you hadn't been to school in 20 or 30 years. Some of you finished high school at the top of your class, and some of you didn't. Some of you knew what you wanted to do from day one, and some of you didn't. But each one of you brought your own perspective with you, shaped by the lives you'd lived. And you shared those perspectives with us, and we are all the richer for it. So there you have four lessons you have taught us here at Bristol Community College. And because education is reciprocal, I want to give them back to you. Take them with you today as you walk out into the world, into your careers or professions, or to your next academic pursuit. Persevere in your next steps. Don't let anything stop you. Go for that promotion or the more challenging job. You may have setbacks. You may fail epically. But pick yourselves up and try again. Don't lean too hard on first impressions. Take time to get to know your coworkers, your colleagues, your fellow students or professors. Judging someone too quickly may rob you of the opportunity to make a really great friend. Become lifelong learners. This world is too big and beautiful and way too fascinating to stop. Read, watch, and experience what life has to offer. Travel if you can, whenever you can, wherever you can. There is no better way to broaden your minds and hearts than to learn how others live. Take time to learn to others' perspectives. Be open to them. Remember, they are magic. You might not always agree, but if you listen, you might just learn that we humans are more alike than you thought. Thank you again for this honor, and congratulations, class of 2023. And now, Dr. Hammond, I turn the podium back to you for the moment we've all been waiting for. Thank you so much, Professor Worthington, for your inspiring words. Today, I have the honor to present the candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees and certificates today have completed all the requirements for each program as set forth by the college and the board of trustees. I would now like to ask our academic area deans and campus deans to take their places for the reading of the graduates' names. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated in the program. Out of courtesy, I ask that all our graduates return to their seats after crossing the stage and remain there until the end of the ceremony. Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage? The rest of the graduates may remain seated. We will begin with the graduates already on stage, Stan, Victoria, and Felisa. We ask that you hold your applause until all the degrees and certificates have been awarded. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Pat Shablum. I'm the Dean for Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education. It is my pleasure to announce these candidates, followed by the candidates for Art Transfer and through Business Administration. Our first candidate, Dan Genielewski, Sumu Cum Laude, Liberal Arts. Uh, 
Victoria Nicole Robido, summa cum laude, liberal arts. Alicia Priscilla Ojadi Kedigu. Kedigu. Sorry. <laughs> cum laude, early childhood education. Now I will announce the candidates for graduation for the Art Transfer Program. Come on. Kaylee Afonso, magna cum laude, Art Transfer. Audrey Grace Biron, magna cum laude. Zoe S. Castello, cum laude. Michaela Dico, magna cum laude. Owen K. Del Monte. Jordan Elizabeth Donahue, summa cum laude. Alyssa Marie Gauthier, summa cum laude. Woo! Rice Eric Hanger, summa cum laude. Woo! Braylon Johnson. Dara Martins, magna cum laude. Adriana Sofia Oliveira, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Pimentel, summa cum laude. Madeline Pina. Nicole Julia Silva, magna cum laude. Timothy Tyler Souza, summa cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Thompson, magna cum laude. Allison Nicole Tremblay, cum laude. Diego Viana Almeida. I will now announce the graduates of Business Administration Career. Alyssa Carrero. <laughs> Alan Michael DeCosta. Ivy Faria. Magna Cum Laude. Megan T. Fernandez, cum laude. Krista G. Francis, cum laude. Yolanda M. Gonzalez. Miguel Antonio Guzman II. Marcelo Vincent Loro. Jessica Lisette Martinez. Isabella Alicia Pascucci, magna cum laude. Tamia Danal Pinto. Holly Ann Raposo, cum laude. Natalia P. Sanchez Figueroa. P. Yang Vo, summa cum laude.
I'm pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Transfer. Angel Leoni Andres Aguamante, magna cum laude. Chanel Campbell Jarrett. Jessica D. Almeida Caraciolo. Stephanie A. Crane, magna cum laude. Stop! Heather DeGrace. Dylan Norman Dumont. <laughs> Ivis Gabriela Espinoza Avito. John Patrick Hackett, magna cum laude. Samantha Moreau, magna cum laude. Lindsay Ray Hollick, magna cum laude. Samuel Janice. Princewell Johnson. Jovan Valdia Lopez. Carissa Martin, cum laude. Sharon Kalis, Sharon. Sharon Kalis Morales, summa cum laude. Catherine Rose Nogara, summa cum laude. Luisa Ribeiro. <laughs> Joseph Michael Steck, magna cum laude. <laughs> Cameron Joseph Tevs, magna cum laude. Lisa da Silva Vieira, cum laude. <laughs> Corey James Young. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Pinello, Dean for Arts and Humanities. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates for graduation for Clinical Laboratory Science. Giovanna Ferreira D. Asvideo, Summa Laude. Rachel DiMello, Magna Cum Laude. Erica K. Ferreira, Summa Cum Laude. Sadan and Kyo Cum Laude. Anna Paula Paiva Cum Laude. Derek Norman Pereira, Magna Cum Laude. Andrea M. Reeves. Magna cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Ray St. Pierre, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kayla M. Williams. I am pleased to announce the candidates for graduation for communication. Luke Bartel, summa cum laude. Okay, 
Wesley Paul Callery. Robin Christine Candelet. Summa Cum Laude. Jacob Jeremy Pereira, Magna Cum Laude. Kyle Anthony Pereira, Cum Laude. John Patrick Ryan. Gerard Evan Vilmene. Leanna Escaline Magna Cum Laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Computer Information Systems, Alexandro Martins. Alexander Scott Rayner, summa cum laude. Daniel J. Reese, magna cum laude. Ryu Santos Pacheco, cum laude. Christopher Vieira Senra, cum laude. Patrick C. Sherman, cum laude. Mirdan Spiru, cum laude. Candice N. Vaughn, magna cum laude. Tracy M. Batista. Alyssa Chassi, cum laude. Nicole Christine Carrera. Carner Julian Dion. Dawana Synopsis Dos Santos. Aiden Dusap, summa cum laude. Alec F. Johnstone, cum laude. Joanna Maribel Maynot. Tammy L. Mello, magna cum laude. Brett J. Misterado, magna cum laude. Christopher Perez, magna cum laude. Willisa Vieira Perez. Giovanna Mosito. I am pleased to announce the candidate for graduation for culinary arts. Olivia Marie Baldo. Mary Catherine Ivan Magna Cum Laude. Miguel Martinez, cum laude. Michaela Neves, cum laude. Jo 
Joseph A. Perez. Galiz, Alexia Roman. Elizabeth Page Santos Cum Laude. I'm now pleased to announce the candidates for graduation for Deaf Studies Transfer. Abigail Marie De Silva. Victoria Lee Joseph, magna cum laude. Victoria! Jennifer L. Loveridge, cum laude. Jennifer! I'm now pleased to announce the candidates for graduation for dental hygiene. Emily Gloria Abbott, magna cum laude. Kareen Silva and Tombs. Savannah M. Carvalho, magna cum laude. Rachel Marie Cassidy, cum laude. Erica Page Puello, magna cum laude. Ashley B. Costa, magna cum laude. Kyla L. Duffy, summa cum laude. Ariana Lynn Goulart, magna cum laude. Jocelyn Holland, magna cum laude. <laughs> Melanie Laura, summa cum laude. <laughs> Corey Madeira, magna cum laude. <laughs> Madison Nicole Maurice, Cum laude. Trevor L. McDuff, magna cum laude. Michaela Ann Mello, magna cum laude. Abigail Lynn Bent, summa cum laude. Marissa Raposa, cum laude. <laughs> Emily Gilmore Saxon, magna cum laude. Annie Tramantosi, summa cum laude. Caitlin Marie Vieira, magna cum laude. Samantha Lynn Weber, cum laude. Nicole Lee Yeomans, magna cum laude. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Dorothy Chase. I'm the Dean of Health Sciences and Nursing, and it's my pleasure to begin and announce the graduates of early childhood education. Paola Cortez, magna cum laude. Samantha Pauline Dean. Alexandria 
Rosalia Di Gregorio, summa cum laude. She is also receiving an early childhood educational preschool certificate. Christina Pereira, cum laude. Tania Gabriela Pereira, cum laude. Beatrice Sousa, magna cum laude. Beatrice is also receiving an early childhood education preschool certificate. Brittany M. Tessier, cum laude. Brittany is also receiving an early childhood education preschool certificate and an Early Childhood Education Infant Toddler Certificate. Reva Tinkum, cum laude. She is also receiving an Early Childhood Education Preschool Certificate. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education. Mariah K. Alexander, Briar Rose Bouchard, magna cum laude. Madison Campbell, magna cum laude. Emily Caroline Carrero, summa cum laude. Emily is also receiving a general studies degree. Rachel Martin, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Technology, Samuel Vincent Bauno, Engineering Technology, Sienna S. Burris, Engineering Technology, Amanda Cavallo, cum laude, Ariel Victoria Galante, cum laude. Alex James House, magna cum laude. John Joseph Morris. John is also receiving a general studies degree. Christopher Mungai, cum laude. Juan Angel Velez, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Transfer. Nicholas Michael Flor Azania, summa cum laude. Nathaniel H. Guanter. Amal Tagawi, summa cum laude. Tiana Yancey. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Fire Science Tr Technology. Elizabeth Emily Gray, summa cum laude. Alexander Scott Magalies. Tyler Paul Paquette, summa cum laude. Andrew Richard Rothier, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Studies. Farjana Akhtar. Kimberly Almaz, summa cum laude. 
Alyssa Marie Alvarez. Alyssa is also receiving Spanish English Community Interpreting Certificate. Bernelis Benzant, magna cum laude. Faith Angel Berry, cum laude. Emily Lauren Berube. Stacy M. Bothello, magna cum laude. Vanessa Lee Brazil. Taylor M. Burrell. Junelli Castillo. Nicole Michelle Sedino Carrera. Annie Lou Codega. Jonathan James Da, cum laude. Tasha Ann Edwards, cum laude. Brielle Nicole Fernandez, cum laude. Thomas Joseph Field. Leslie Delisa Figueroa. Stephanie Pierre Fleurless, cum laude. Adam Joseph Flores, magna cum laude. Deanna Fornwalt, cum laude. Good afternoon. My name is Vinnie Reggae, Dean of Business and Experiential Education. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates for graduation for general studies. Brittany A. Gallardo, general studies. Natasha Alana Garcia, cum laude. Theodore William Gerard, cum laude. Paul N. Gokunu. Mario Yoselin Guerrero. Brandon C. Hader. Dion Stephen Hazard, Jr. Tanya Israel, cum laude. Nikia Marie James. Erica Dawn Kelly, summa cum laude. Michaela Paige Kipling, magna cum laude. Evin Michaela Leal Depena, magna cum laude. Jelly Nicole Levitt. Cum laude. Jimmy Andres Luo, cum laude. Brianna M. McGrath, magna cum laude. Nathan Walter Major.
Kyle Joseph Matos, magna cum laude. Samantha S. McWinney, cum laude. Adam Jeffrey Maderos, cum laude. Casey L. Mello. Kaylee Mena. Jeleni Ariel Miranda. Linda J. Miranda. Shane Mark Caldera Paul, summa cum laude. Haley Ann Pereira, summa cum laude. Alisa Ann Perez, magna cum laude. Alexis Perry, magna cum laude. Paul William Poitras, third, cum laude. Amelia Isabel Bauer, cum laude. Thomas John Whalen. Josel Ramos, cum laude. Katrina A. Raposa, magna cum laude. Elidis Riviera, cum laude. Jacinda Rodriguez. Shante Marie Rodriguez, also receiving Theontology and Funeral Services Respiratory. Andrea J. Roes, General Studies. Marissa Lynn Sandel. Kayla M. Santiago, cum laude, also receiving Early Childhood Education Preschool Certificate. Kelly Marie Thompson, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Jane Smeaton. Elwa Estela Talavera, summa cum laude. Jonathan Delgado Torres, magna cum laude. Nicole Ashley Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Melissa L. Viveros, cum laude. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Shanna Howell. I'm the Dean of the New Bedford campus and I have the pleasure of announcing the candidates of graduation for human services. Moravia Botello Diaz. Naomi Kamenati, magna cum laude. Hermano De Silva, magna cum laude. Jaina Ray Davis.
Amanda Dole, summa cum laude. Paige L. Gooden, cum laude. Jesse L. Kelly, magna cum laude. Okay. Stephanie Ann Limpus, magna cum laude. Amy Oroboto, cum laude. Tyler Oswald, magna cum laude. Amy Pimento, cum laude. Catherine Pizarro, cum laude. Lexis Robinson. Rebecca Nicole Rodriguez, cum laude. Debbie M. Tavares, human, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I will now announce the graduates of liberal arts. Nadia Arujo, summa cum laude. Sophia M. Aribata. Taina Bahandas, cum laude. Eliezer Barrett. Emily Jean Belmont. Nicole T. Blanchett. Sierra McKenzie Breadmore, magna cum laude. Cheryl Campbell, summa cum laude. Also receiving a general studies. Erica Kanzler. Raquel Carcady. I'm sorry? Okay. Amanda Chaplo. Kaylin Cruz Sagado. Vicky Baptista da Silva, magna cum laude. Emily Florence Day, summa cum laude. Rodrigo de Freitas, magna cum laude. Angelina Christine Echevarria. Joshua A. Eckenreiter. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Stetta Ginyan, magna cum laude. Thomas P. Galanis, summa cum laude. Karen M. Galloway, summa cum laude. Robert Stephen Chase, magna cum laude. Gwyneth C. Hallman, summa cum laude.
Alessandra Apetizanano Hernandez. Erica Marie Silvernail, magna cum laude. Brenton Doran Jackson, cum laude. Kate, sorry, Michaela Lourdes Janzekovich. Beyonce. Deontay Joseph Jenkins, summa cum laude. Oh, okay. Alexander David LaFountain, cum laude. Corey Gill LaJoy, magna cum laude. Andrea T. Laterno. Solange Natalie Lima Sores, magna cum laude. Mark Joseph Lamastro. Brittany Martin, she's also receiving General Studies, Health, and Life Sciences. Michael Thomas Mello, magna cum laude. Taylor Nicole Mello, magna cum laude. Selena. Ursulina, my lady, Mercado. Sarah Grace Boucher Sorison, sorry, Sarah Grace. Serena Ray Moniz. Serena Ray Moniz, summa cum laude. Michaela Marie Nando. <laughs> Jenna L. Norso, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Panaretta, summa cum laude. Jessalise Riviera, summa cum laude. Nicole N. Rodriguez. Santos, okay. Exelia Rodriguez Santos, magna cum laude. Scarlett Amy Salazar, summa cum laude. Brittany Sawyer. Emma Sherman, magna cum laude. Carrie Silva. <laughs> Lamar Stevens. <laughs> Hannah N. Stoker. Francesca Surreal. Wendy Gorkas. Sage Venuti. Skyla Francesca Jean Walk, cum laude.
Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Adrienne Foster Scharf, and I am the Interim Dean of STEM. It is my distinct pleasure to announce the candidates for graduation in Life Sciences. Jennifer Cleveland, magna cum laude. Caden James Conroy, summa cum laude. Kayara Stanley Costa. Althea Doherty, magna cum laude. Joelle S. Eckerson, summa cum laude. Caitlin Landreville, summa cum laude. Nicole C. LePage, summa cum laude. Raydell Dene London. Michael Joseph McCarthy III, cum laude. Tabitha Ann Medeiros. Aiden John Morgado, summa cum laude. Matthew Nogueira, summa cum laude. I know. Booker T. W. Nowina, cum laude. Katie Malena Salguero, cum laude. Judith Flore Simo Tagni, cum laude. Emily Nicole Thibodeau, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of nursing. <laughs> Kaylee Elizabeth Amaral. <laughs> Selena Grace Andrioli, cum laude. Fatumat, uh, sorry, Fatumata Van Kante, cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Blanchard, cum laude. <laughs> Joanne Borges, magna cum laude. Kendra D. Botello, cum laude. Randy Lynn Booten, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies, health, and life sciences. Kyra M. Chelly, magna cum laude. Serena Marie China, cum laude. Kylie N. Cordiero, magna cum laude. Desiree L. Costa, magna cum laude. Jacinia Da Costa, cum laude. Kirsten. Natalie Da Costa, cum laude.
Katerina Darcy de Alameda, magna cum laude. Nena Dias Macedo, cum laude. Rian Marie Dompierre, magna cum laude. Kylie A. Ferguson, magna cum laude. Kayla Fiera. Mackenzie Page Fiera. Mafalda Marisa Franco, cum laude. Benjamin Omandi Ganda, cum laude. Catherine R. Ignacio, cum laude. Brianna Jardin, cum laude. Richard R. Lombardi III. Edwin M. Lugo. Lindsay Judith Martins, magna cum laude. Fabian Miraville, also, also receiving General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Alan Queen Nasolo, cum laude. Abigail Policier, cum laude. Alexis Shawnee Powell, cum laude. Janelle Ashley Presby, cum laude. Congratulations. Krista Randall, summa cum laude. Brianne Rodriguez, cum laude. Samantha Marie Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Brianna Lee Smith, magna cum laude. Kendra Soares, cum laude. Kenya Lynette Ortez Moreno, magna cum laude. Cecilia Lydia Rosado, cum laude. Paige Elizabeth Pacheco, cum laude. Ashley Lynn Paquette, magna cum laude. Tanya Ro uh, Roy Balthazar. Michelle Jan Starkweather, cum laude. Lindsay Pauline Xavier, summa cum laude. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Janet Ray. I am the Dean of the Attleboro Campus. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates for graduation 
for Occupational Therapy Assistant. <laughs> Megan Marie Birch, magna cum laude. <laughs> Megan Beth Bossy, magna cum laude. De Grazia, summa cum laude. Oh! Okay. Megan Grace Dupuy, magna cum laude. Kaya O. Fano, magna cum laude. Kristen Hoff, cum laude. Gent Alicia Leon Cum Laude. Levesque. Levesque. Haley Levesque Cum Laude. <laughs> and Loka. 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 Raphael Lopes and Mocha Cum Laude. <laughs> Lindsay Lucas, magna cum laude. Amanda Hope Marshall. Jeno Patel, magna cum laude. Summa cum laude. Avery Ray Warner, summa cum laude, also receiving general studies, health, and life sciences. Now presenting the candidates for graduation for office administration. Crystal Brink, magna cum laude. Emily Gonzalez Elias. Michelle T. Rosa. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for paralegal and legal studies. Abigail Blair, Blair Clark, summa cum laude, also receiving paralegal studies certificate. Harley M. Govea, cum, cum, sunga, cum laude, cum laude. <laughs> Bis Morales Inoa Cuevas, magna cum laude. Benjamin Wayne Souza, magna cum laude. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for veterinary health care. Sid Sydney Maria Barros. <laughs> Tabitha Lee Duby, magna cum laude. Aaliyah Mahogany Durant. Yeah. Christine E. Gagney. Alexandra Lucille Gomes. Hayden Hope Levesque. Gianna 
Roxy Lewis, magna cum laude. Ashley Nicole Lord. Robert W. Marriott. Hope McGough Sylvia. Diana Christina Moreno, magna cum laude. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Early Childhood Education Preschool Certificate. Jared McDonald. Patricia Murphy. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Human Services Certificate. Samar Abdurek. Kimberly A. A. Lawton. Now announcing the candidates for graduation from Medical Administrative Practices Certificate. Macy Fernandez. Caitlin Quintus. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Medical Assistance Certificate, Melissa Cabaco. Marissa Jalen Levitt. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Paralegal Studies Certificate, Cinta Shea Cabral. Now announcing the graduates, now announcing the candidates for graduations for Substance Abuse Counseling Certificate. The Kwame Teron Brown. Jessica Lynn Silva. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Sustainability Studies Certificate. Marilyn Maxwell. Now announcing the candidates for graduation for Thanatology and Funeral Service Preparatory Certificate. <laughs> Melanie A. Arujo. Janina. Nicole Richanez Palacios. Emmy Della Petra. As the chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers vested in, in the Board of Higher Education by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associates in Arts, Associates in Science, Associate in Applied Science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who, in the judgment of the college, have successfully met the requirements for graduation. Congratulations.
graduates, you are officially alumni of Bristol Community College. We're which brings you great benefit and great responsibility. Because of those who have come before you, your degree or certificate carries with it the great reputation of the college and will open doors for you. In return, I invite you to pay it forward to those who come after you by providing support to the Bristol Community College Foundation and getting involved with the Bristol Alumni Association. Now, please join us for a reception in Jade Building immediately following these exercises. There will be music, refreshments, and photo opportunities. In addition, our beautiful Grimshaw Goodowitz Art Gallery is open today, and I invite all of you to visit this wonderful facility and outstanding exhibit. I now declare a close to these proceedings of the 56th Annual Commencement Exercise of Bristol Community College. Again, congratulations.